Welcome again. This is lesson two, the purpose of prayer. As we began to discuss in the first lesson, prayer is a very important activity in the life of a Christian. It is not something to be taken lightly. Like and we'll see why prayer is so important in this lesson. Let's quickly look at Psalm 115 and verse 16. Bible tells us there that the heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth he has given to the children of men. So the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given to the sons of men. Now, what is the implication of this? Now, we understand that God created the heavens and the earth. However, he gave the authority over the sphere or the realm of the earth over to men. So in this realm, the authority to do things is in the hands of God. So God has, in essence, bequeathed. God has given over the earth unto man. And that is why it is important to pray. Because if you do not invite God into the earth, there is no legal means by which God is going to enter into the activities of the earth. I like to give an example, you know, whenever I share this uh, thought, if I were to buy a phone, for example, you know, and give it to you, you know, and I told you, oh, this phone is yours, it's a gift, and I'm giving it to you. It's totally yours, completely yours. And then someday along the line, you come around and you're looking for that phone, and it's nowhere to be found. And later on, you discover that I was the one who took the phone. I didn't ask. You know, I didn't seek your permission. I just took the phone and I, you know, go around feeling, oh, I bought the phone in the first place. So you should, you shouldn't have a problem with that. How would you feel? And probably you had some important calls to make. You had some important things to do on your phone. But because I took it, you couldn't do all of those things. What happens? We need to understand that God is a God of precision. God doesn't do anything carelessly. So if God has given the legal rights over the earth unto man, it means that that right remains with man. So if God himself wants to interfere in the activities that are going on in the earth, a man has to legally invite God into it. So that's why prayer is so important. There's nothing nothing that God does on the earth without the cooperation of man. Nothing whatsoever. We read in the book of uh, the, the letter of Peter to the, the church, he says that God is not slow concerning his promises as some consider slowness. You know, but God is long suffering towards all, wanting everybody to be saved. But why is everybody not saved? God couldn't force his way. He couldn't do it was his desire. God desires that everybody should be saved, but everybody cannot be saved except everybody desires to be saved. So, the will of God only comes into play when the will of God becomes the will of man. If a man doesn't desire and accept the will of God and give permission to the will of God in his life, at least, the plan of God is not going to come to pass in his life. Of course, you might want to ask, what happens? Do you, are you saying that the plan and the will of God doesn't always come to pass? The truth is, the purpose of God will always stand. Whatever God wants is going to be done. But the question is, the people that God wants to use, if they do not cooperate, what happens? God won't force them. God is just going to use somebody else. And whenever we stand in the place of prayer, what we are doing is, we are cooperating with God, saying, God, we are partnering with you on this matter to make your will come upon the earth. That's why in Luke 11, you know, when Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he said, you pray this way, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. So it is one of the most important things to note about prayer. Prayer is partnering with God and causing the will of God to be done upon the earth. And through prayer, we cultivate our relationship with God. The truth is, if we do not pray, there is no way we can have that interaction with God. As we have learned earlier, 
you say that prayer is communicating with God. So if you do not talk with God, how do you build your relationship with Him? You can never grow as a Christian without a prayer life. So you must understand that without prayer, first of all, we cannot cultivate our relationship with God. Secondly, God cannot do anything on the earth except when a man legally invites him to do such a thing. And as we go ahead, we are going to discuss further on these things. See you in the next lesson.